Welcome to the new Ebispecker Warranty Portal instruction video for filing warranty claims. Our new warranty portal will provide an easy and convenient way to file warranty claims. Go to the SO login page and log into the portal using your SO login information. Select the Service tab and then Warranty Heaters. To create a warranty claim, click on Create a Warranty Claim button. Your specific dealer information should automatically populate. If not, please contact the Ebispecker Warranty Department. For warranty claims with a heater serial number, enter the serial number of the heater. This will enable you to check the warranty status of your specific heater. Should you not be able to identify the serial number, you can click on Serial Number Cannot Be Identified and insert the material number in the field part number. Select the quoted heater by clicking on it. By entering the serial number, additional device data will automatically populate from the database. For example, material number, production date, etc. If filing a warranty claim without a serial number, click on Serial Number Cannot Be Identified and insert the heater model number in the part number field. The system will automatically offer options from a pre-populated list. Please note that the claim with no heater serial numbers are subject to rejection unless prior approval is received. For part-only claims, click on Serial Number Cannot Be Identified and insert the material number in the Part Number field. For a claim with no heater part number, you do not need to enter information in Section 8, Heater Data. Select the claim reason from the drop-down list. Please insert your internal claim number or work order number. Insert installation date and repair date. Select the vehicle type and complete the vehicle information. Select vehicle type. Depending on your choice of vehicle type, you will need to enter additional data. For example, if you select truck, you will need to fill in the truck manufacturer, truck model, cabin size, capacity, axle configuration, first registration, VIN number, vehicle model number, and the vehicle mileage at time of installation, which in case it is not OEM installed. If you select special vehicle, then you will need to select construction type, then operating hours will be required instead of mileage. Specific information is required for each application. Fill in the complaint from the owner operator in the failure description of the vehicle owner field. Then select all the failure descriptions from the drop down list in each category and fill in the rest of the fields. Add the failure code of the heater and insert the failure description in the comment box, which is the complaint cause and correction. Based on the heater model chosen in section 2, device data, the correct failure code description will be listed out for selection. If the ECU is defective and cannot read out data, click on the memory of the electronic control unit cannot be read. Enter the heater data in Section 8 if available. Enter the information regarding the repair. Based on the information in Section 2, the correct activity list will be automatically displayed from the database for selection. Multiple activities can be added by clicking on the Add Activity and cleared by clicking on the trash can. Also, correct the exploded drawing. Spare part list will be displayed for some common heater models. Replaced part number can be inserted by entering the part number by selecting from the spare part list or from the exploded drawing if available. You can insert additional costs such as travel costs in the additional cost section by clicking on the add additional costs and type in the reason for the cost and the amount. Please note that travel cost only applies to off-highway and marine applications. Pre-approval may be required. You can also insert costs of miscellaneous items that are under warranty coverage and clear them by clicking on the trash can. To optimize the chance of approval for your claim, add pictures and support files such as Edith or EasyScan files as attachments. Click on the Add Attachment and choose the file from the location. Put it in the attachment description. If you want to save the claim but do not want to send it for processing, click on Save and you will be able to add more information later on. To send the claim for processing, please click on Save and Submit. 
any information is missing when you submit the claim, the missing information will be listed on the top of the claim. Complete all missing files, resubmit. Thank you for your attention.